Hey, what's up everybody? It's been a while uh, since I made a vlog, so I'm back and some changes have come our way. You may have noticed something different about my audio. Um, I've got a totally new setup. So what I have is a, basically a wireless input from uh, my helmet right into my GoPro. Uh, so no more uh, sketchy method. See before, what might have sounded like this. Now sounds like this. Um, basically what it was before was uh, I was using the, the open mics on the GoPro and the only way to get my voice into them was to have my face shield on my helmet wide open which sort of directed my voice right into the GoPro and uh, it, it worked okay but it didn't sound all that great and there was lots of wind noise and it was sort of a pain because if I was riding at high speeds and I had no protection on my face so it sucked a lot anyways um, now that I'm back, I would like to uh, just sort of resume my little story about some of the health problems that, that I've been dealing with. Uh, for a quick recap, I had moved down to Victoria, lived here for a while, all fine and dandy, yada yada yada. Feet started hurting, joints started hurting, took a long time to finally get a diagnosis of psoriatic arthritis was prescribed methotrexate started taking that and uh, oh, it sucked a whole lot see that that was somebody who doesn't know how to use a roundabout anyway um, so yeah I was prescribed the methotrexate and uh, started taking that and uh, that, that's sort of a whole different story on its own but um, I'd actually like to tell you about some more health issues or one in particular that that was uh, quite apparent through all this and still is um, yeah where do I start with this one ah, it's such a shitty one uh, so one day you know this is like after my my feet had started hurting and everything like that. It was April of 2012. One day my my jaw started hurting on the right side. It was it was like it just it, it just felt like it was inflamed and painful and like it it actually wouldn't quite close exactly. Like I couldn't fully close my, my teeth together. And that lasted for a, quite a short period of time. Like all in all, the whole process of it was like maybe three days. And uh, I didn't really think a whole lot about it. But when it calmed down, it just sort of, it sort of hung around, but in a very minor, minor extent. Uh, so I had like, just minor irritation in my jaw and it would sort of make kind of noises I wasn't super concerned about it um, but I did mention it to my dentist at the time who uh, didn't seem too concerned about it either and I was like okay well whatever right like it's just a, a normal thing and you know apparently lots of people have uh, uh, TMJ issues oh by the way in case you don't know TMJ stands for temporal mandibular joint and that's that's your jaw joint you have two of them one on this side one on this side and so anyways um, meanwhile at the dentist they had been telling me oh well, well you need to get your wisdom teeth removed you should really get those removed you know and I was like oh okay well I really don't want to and then yada yada yeah eventually they they talked me into it and I ended up going and seeing somebody else this was a year afterwards, a year almost to the day after my jaw had had that hurting issue. 
And so I go get all my, all four of my wisdom teeth knocked out. And uh, what followed that was a week of hell. Um, I I felt absolutely fucking terrible. Uh, there's no other way to put it. Um, the the following day, I had an extreme headache. Um, some might call it a migraine, but I, I don't know, like, I don't think it technically qualifies as a migraine, but I think it's easily up there in migraine territory. But my headache was so bad that I was vomiting all day. And uh, vomiting, the, the day after you've had all four of your wisdom teeth removed, is the worst thing ever. Um, so I was terrified, I had no idea what was going on and um, you know Sarah was was quite supportive. Uh, Sarah is my, my wife by the way. Um, she, uh, she ended up taking me to the hospital and they, they didn't really do a whole lot. They made me wait around in pain for a, a long time and then they gave me a couple of, a couple of needles and sent me on my way. And then, so the rest of the week was, a, it was a little less extreme, but it was still terrible. Anyway, um, so one thing that sort of happened from that is my relatively minor jaw problem that I had for whatever reason, um, turned from a, a minor nuisance to what I would consider uh, daily torture. Now, it was it, it felt like it was totally dislocated like my cartilage disc was nowhere to be found and, and my bones were grinding together anytime I moved my mouth my uh, like my my mandibular condyle was was uh, just grinding away in its socket and it oh, I felt like shards of glass were just being ground up inside my face and it was it was terrible and and it hurt and it drove me nuts and because it it's right it's right in your face and it's making all these crazy noises and uh, yeah um, I I went back to the the oral surgeon who who did my wisdom teeth and I told him about about all this and he wasn't overly concerned I said I should go see physio went to physio and he did some work in the muscles in my face which didn't end up doing anything at all and you know I just I just had no idea what to do now um, uh, this this just goes on for a really long time like I ended up seeing a chiropractor kind of helped um, you know he, he did more work in the muscles on my face um, my my bite eventually got quite screwed up like my my teeth didn't fit together properly anymore and my best guess is for that is because like my my uh, jaw bones had actually worn down and you know altered the position of my jaw altogether and uh, yeah I, I went on and on like seeing different people and and I eventually saw a dentist who is supposed to be a, a specialist in, in uh, TMJ disorders. And he gave me a splint. And the idea of the splint is that it's, it's supposed to help you out like if you're clenching. And most TMJ disorders are, are derived from clenching. And that's what the assumption that, uh, that everyone had that assumption is that I was clenching, right? So all these treatments that I had, um, they basically didn't do anything for me. They, they cost me a lot of time, um, a lot of money, um, a lot of hope that uh, you know was shot down through all these different treatments. So meanwhile, you know, I, this, this whole procedure, this whole ordeal is really getting me down and, and uh, the worst moments of my life have been in the last two years now, over two years, that, that I've been dealing with this. 
Um, I never saw myself uh, falling into depression. Um, I never, I never ever saw myself being uh, like permanently angry. Um, I was angry at everyone. I was angry at myself. Like I felt that that I let this stuff happen. Um, I was angry at at my dentist. Um, you know, I was angry at the people who were who were giving me these treatments and promising that they would work, and and you know they're leading to nowhere. And I was I was in a really really bad state. Um, so yeah, I ended up seeing. I I ended up going to counseling. Uh, and uh, you know, seeing my doctor and everything like that, and the outcome from that was it wasn't that great because all these problems that I had were were derived from these physical ailments, and you know, it was my my jaw like on top of my arthritis, and it combined together, and it it was just terrible. Um, so. My, uh, my, the counselor that I saw and my doctor, they, they suggested that I should go on some antidepressants. And I was thinking like, ah, oh, man, like, really? Like, I, I don't feel like I, I, I don't really want to go on antidepressants because like, I, I know what this is being caused by. Like, this is not me. I know that this is caused by a physical issue and my brain is having a logical response to a physical issue and you know if there was nothing wrong with me at all and I was feeling like this then sure antidepressants but you know I just I just wasn't comfortable with taking them right because I was already on this crazy cocktail of meds for my arthritis and, and you know I, taking a whole bunch of drugs is hard on your system so I just didn't want to anyway uh, uh, sorry I sort of sounds like I'm sniffling. I'm not crying. I actually have a head cold. <laughs> um, but I, I have shed many tears over this. Trust me. So, yeah. Um, time goes on and, you know, my, uh, my jaw condition has been just steadily uh, giving, me, giving me grief. Um, constantly, constantly. Like, causing me all kinds of pain and you know I just couldn't get away from it and uh, I found some ways to deal with it um, riding motorcycles is certainly one of them um, and uh, ultimately uh, the beginnings of, uh, of this vlog actually um, just facing it like uh, it's it's really uh, it's really easy to get tied up in your own problems and it's really, it's really hard to be vulnerable and and air out your your dirty laundry per se. And uh, you know, it's amazing how how just talking about these sorts of things um, to people and being open about it and telling people that you're having a shitty time and your life sucks. Um, it's actually really relieving because um, if, if if that person is a good listener and there's a lot of good listeners out there you know they'll just kind of they'll just kind of listen to you not say a whole lot and say like man that sucks like let me know if there's anything I can do for you that's what a good listener is and you know there's there's a free, few select people out there who who I've been blessed with to to be able to share with and I think help too right like I think my story um, has been helpful to to other people and uh, yeah it, it just gives this whole feeling that you're that you're not in it alone and uh, that really takes away from the stress and the depression and the anger of it all um, so anyways, uh, yeah, there's, there's so much more to this and, uh, for the interest of keeping this, uh,
in a relatively short video on YouTube. I'm just going to call this one. Um, yeah, so uh, you guys have a good one and take care of yourselves. Peace out.